Welcome back to the Anchor Down Podcast. It's going to be season three, episode five. Your host, Ian Larrabee. Calls Benny Gallick. Today, we've got a special little guest here today. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, Dylan Vessel. Dylan Vessel. It's like a <laughs> fan special. He's been a, been a lifelong fan of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Figured we'd get him on here today. Um, Dylan, he's, he's on the football team here with us. This fall, as well as what you play hockey and baseball, is hockey that true? Hockey and baseball, yep. This we got a three-sport athlete out here. That's what we like to see. Um, yeah, we figured, you know, we'd have some more people on it, spice things up. Let's get more people out here and absolutely makes it a little more interesting. There you go to all the people that watch. Um, you want to start getting into it? Let's start getting into it. You just want to start off talking about some football, Benny? Sure. Go ahead. Go we go. got. Our last regular season game, that's today, Wednesday, if this is uploaded by then, should be. Uh, two Harbors, in Two Harbors, that's 6 p.m., so hopefully that goes all right. We'll probably have to weather the storm pretty early, but I feel like we can get a few up on the board. Oh, yeah. And then, quick week, we got practice Thursday, and then get the MEA break off, and then we're right back at it Monday with the practice, probably watch some film and go over some plays, and then playoffs right on Tuesday. Uh, is that game undecided yet still? Yeah, I think it is, but I don't know. I don't know how they do it all, but according to my, my math, it would be us probably playing Mora, but okay. who knows? I don't know yeah. how that goes. That's what I figured, too. Mm-hmm. But, tough to figure yeah. that. That's what, that's what makes the most sense, but I remember last year like trying to figure it out, and then all of a sudden they said something. I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, but that that will be an away game. We yeah. do know that because so, yep. we it did not be. get home field advantage. But There you go. Yeah, are you? This is the last the last game of the regular season, man. Two Harbors. We always play the Two Harbors. The end here. Yeah, and it's it's tough. It's cold. Yeah. It's cold today, and then it's gonna be cold out on the lake too, man. It's the gonna field be, gets muddy. Ooh, field's gonna be rock solid. Probably that grass field. Yeah. Ooh, it's gonna be. Some yeah, it's hits. an old field. Yeah, it is. They uh, could use a they could use a revamp. Either a new grass field or give them some turf. Give them some turf out there. Yeah, they could use it. Yeah, it should be a good game, though, hopefully here. We've had, yeah, it's been a tough slow, not really slow, I guess, but short turnaround. You get that Friday game, Monday, Tuesday practice, and a Wednesday game, and then you have MEA into a Tuesday game. It's like crazy here. Um, for me, it'll be my last last game of the regular season here for the senior year, always, ever, forever, just like that. Yeah, <laughs> career you, you over. Guys have, you guys have some games left. You guys still have a couple yeah. years. Dylan, you're only a sophomore, yeah? Yeah, I got Two more years yet. So. You excited? They fly. Oh yeah. They do. Just a young buck he is. <coughs> <laughs> um, no, it should be a good game, man. It's been it's been quite the season. Um, it is improvement as it has been for the past couple years here now. I mean, it's improving in the right way, and hopefully you guys especially will be able to take that over after us seniors go out and kind of continue on to build that up growing it you know yeah i think if you can get a few more kids out it'll help 100 yeah, percent numbers man numbers are a big big thing um i actually Coach. went to i went to that with dylan you were there too weren't I you i was there yeah um, that leadership that leadership yeah. yeah there was this leadership summit the other week uh hosted by the promises you which like keith turner carl crawford run it was over at iron trail motor event center in virginia uh, but it was pretty good. Like there was a bunch of other schools there, so kind of from around this area, then like Superior was there. Okay. But it was kind of interesting. We had different like breakouts, different groups here, and I don't know about you, Dylan, but like we talked a bunch about um, sports with all the different schools and kids, and a really common theme was just like low numbers in sports. Yeah, I was sitting next to a kid in Southridge, and he was. That's yeah. all we talked about. His yep. football team, they needed guys and. Yeah, it's it's hard to get them out because it's not a lot of people's main sport. So they don't want to get hurt for their main sport. But if you think that going into the season, you're gonna get hurt. That's just yeah. yeah, So you just gotta play. Um, And the program is turning around. As as much as you don't want to say it, as we don't want (laughs) to say it, it is. It's it's getting better. But especially for my two years, I mean, a lot of improvements. And so. next year, we'll, all the juniors will be seniors. We got a lot of good juniors. It'll, 100%. It's, it's getting better, that's for sure. Yeah, but numbers just helps, man. It's like all the other sports, too. We right. have, you know, a few sports that just lack the numbers. And if you had some more numbers, um, it could really help. Cause it changes. It gives people, you know, extra opportunity. It almost incentivizes you to work harder because if you got someone pushing for your spot. Yeah. yeah. Then we also have... Um, 
you know, a, a lesser <clears throat> amount of kids that are playing two, three sports in a year. Some people are just doing that one sport, which is just For such sure. a killer. One sport athletes, like, I get, you know, you want to be good at what you do, but, man, you can go do a couple things at least. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you play multiple sports and... Makes like, you better. Yeah, for like sure. Like, one sport makes you stronger, stronger as well. Stronger, you use more, you get hurt hurt less in your yeah 100% you use all those muscles and yep yeah you don't get the time off where you're just like sitting you know like idle and right you're always doing something oh well though you know that's something that's just you know it's for the future here we'll see I can't wait to come back in a couple years definitely don't watch this football team I think and and honestly watch a couple of these other sports teams too that are in that same process of small numbers now and kind of growth and, and trying to climb back to a to a better position. I think even the volleyball team they got a young young core yeah. and Yep, yeah, for sure. The volleyball team and they were they were kind of riddled with some injuries and yeah. stuff like that through the through what like my senior class here. I know a couple girls that got injured in the past year, a couple years and it hurts it, but hopefully people can kind of keep going. Um we can briefly just rip through that soccer. Soccer's already done with their season, boys and girls. You know, yep, they lost that ended last week. Playoffs. Last one, yeah. um, girls tennis, they're also completed with their season. Now, cross country, they're just about wrapping it up. They had a meet yesterday down in Proctor, a race. Um, the girls took first place there. That was the last regular season. Last regular yep. season, yep. Girls took first place. Surprisingly, right? Who'd have guessed? <laughs> and then the, yeah. the boys, they took second place for the boys. Um, and yeah, I mean, a really good way for them to end their regular season for both the teams. I saw and another post. There's a lot of new PRs too. Yeah. So a lot yeah, of, a lot a lot of, of guys picked up their pace. So yep. that's good coming into playoffs. A hundred percent. Knocked 15 seconds off. Even that if makes it is, it, I mean, that's right. a big difference. Oh yeah. Going yeah. from, you know, 20 to sub 20 is, yep. that's, it's a gap right there. Looks different on paper. Um, but yeah, so the girls, they are still ranked first in their section, so they're ranked first, and then the boys were ranked second in their section, but now they dropped to like fourth in the section is what I heard. Um, but then they'll have their section race on Thursday the 24th, so that'll be next next Thursday here in a week. Um, they'll have that race. I don't totally know where that one is, but you know. Girls obviously are looking to go back to state, and the boys are looking to have a really solid chance at that. Do you know where the sections are ran? I know you say you didn't for the boys, but girls? They're at the same place. It's like Cloquet, maybe. It might be Cloquet. Is it? I don't know. I think it might have been Cloquet, but yeah. So they run the same place, but that'll be really good. I can't wait to see them do it again. I mean, those girls, it's just such a good accomplishment for them, and um, what a cool thing to have, at least, you know, like that, that... Starting kind of that history of like all right. these years in a row yeah. going there, like kind of a little bit of a legacy, especially like the people my age who are seniors now who what it would have started when we were like seventh grade. N- well, but it started like ninth or tenth grade. What was it when they went to state that first year in a row? Right. Yeah. So it's like, but that, you could like, you could join it in seventh grade, and I yeah. think you could still run varsity. Yep. So these people so, that have put in all yeah. that effort and that that time in, that's really cool to see. Um, we got. Volleyball. You guys know anything about volleyball? Didn't you go into volleyball games this year? I I went to a few this year. I went yeah. to that one yesterday. Did you? How'd that yeah. one go? That was the Rapids uh, one, right? It was a tough one. Rapids, yeah. they're solid, you know. I think they they lost in three sets, but. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, last week we had a bunch of swimming information. That's the most volleyball information <laughs> we've so. <laughs> Volleyball. Yeah, I, I like to go to those games. They're fun. I don't know. I do too, but sometimes I just feel I'm a bit busy this week. It's so yeah. like this is this time of year is just so busy yeah, on the yeah. turnaround of everything. Uh, but yeah, the girls that was their that was their last regular season game. It was that it was a home game, right? Yeah, home yeah. game first Rapids. Uh, then they'll be having their playoffs a week from today on Wednesday, the twenty third, or the start of their sections. That's still TBD on who they play or when they play or even where they play. I think so. I guess we'll figure that one out eventually. Right. Um, other than that, here swimmers we got swimming. They had their meet, right? Didn't they have that true team last week, like Thursday or Friday? I think. Yeah. Um, how'd they do? Couldn't tell you, <laughs> but it's all right. Um, we'll figure that. We're one gonna out. take it as they did pretty good because yeah. what she was saying last week is that they had the, like the. The true conference meet or whatever, but it wasn't like actual playoffs. So they right. said they were doing pretty good. So yeah, 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 it's like the all the teams are kind of there from the section, right. and you just you know it's like the like, towards the end of the year, kind of size up the competition, 
And yeah, I guess all the girls have been doing pretty well. I mean, they've been getting some better dives going on there and then dropping some times off of their, their races and swimming. Um, and that's that time of year, man, where you really just start working yourself a little harder and you drop yeah. those times, especially in swimming, man. Like you just drop right. a few seconds off each of it can make a big difference. Sounds like that's a pretty good program they got it going. It yeah, they they send a lot of individuals. Yeah. Same with the boys, the boys swimming. It's just always a consistent one. It's a consistent of every year. You got at least a couple of people that are doing really well. For sure. Uh, other than that, that's it's pretty much all for sports. Um, we got girls hockey. The practice I was already starting up here Monday the twenty eighth. Yeah. That's coming up like lickety split, man. The girls they get, and then they jump right into some play or playoff some scrimmages like a week later right yeah, yeah. It, goes, it was quick and then they probably have games like three games the week after so. yeah it's it'll just, be there'll be hockey starting up for the hockey fans if you're waiting it's soon you guys are scratching over there i know yeah I we're yeah, we're yeah. getting towards the end of captain's practice so yeah. you know trials are right around the corner so and speaking of numbers that's a sport right now that we we have numbers yep that's, i mean we've got a full jv in a varsity really right yeah well, and it's coming up now, because what is it, usually your sophomore class is where you kind of start, everyone kind of starts playing, because in freshman, ninth grade, you can kind of play, like, what are the other... Yeah, freshman, right. you can play as a band. You, you yeah, could. you can still, but, you can join yeah. the team if you want, but yeah. it's like, you might yeah. as well get the experience there. Yeah, you get about double the games in Bantam, so it's yeah. like... Right, but now what are you guys thinking here for this year? You got some sophomores coming up too that you think will be all right? Yeah, two or three coming up. Uh, freshmen. Freshmen. Yeah, we we literally lost like three or four guys. So yeah. It's, it's not it's a not ton terrible. to fill, but it'll be nice because we're getting the kids to fill. So it's not like, oh, we got to go looking and looking. And right. Like yeah. there's, we've got numbers, so it'll be fun. Yeah, we'll have depth on that team. Yeah, definitely. That's always good, though, man. I mean, it just is. When you get... You know, something happens if someone's gone, someone's hurt, someone's yeah. not well, like whatever it is. Just I know to er, have those early in the season, we had a couple signatures. Like we had two forwards out, and it shifted some things up. Some yeah. JV kids had to come play up and, you know, play third or fourth line. So it's it's different hockey. Yeah. No, but it's good, man. You have that. You have that ability to go down, you know, reach to the JV if need be, but like still have quality all through. Right. That's just such a really good thing to have. I'm, new, new coaching staff. Yeah, we have a new head coach, Aaron Jamnick. So yeah. he was the assistant, but now we got led to head and then assistant <laughs> Ryan Hannigman and yeah. Chris Zubich. So yeah, that'll be. I'm I'm excited to watch hockey this year. Here, I'm I'm excited to see what happens. It's always a interesting time too, though, when you get a new coaching. Um, right. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like he was already a coach of yours. It's not like he's just some brand new fresh right. meat that's come out of nowhere. Um, but even like last year with Matt Anderson taking over the football, like it's just like, to see things change. Up, right. They do change up a lot. Yeah. And now that he's got here. the choice on everything. It's, right. Yeah, it's his show now. So I'm excited. I think everyone else is too. Yeah. But yeah, it'll be fun. Should be a good time for you guys. Um, other than that here, we got, you want to talk about what's fall ball, Benny? Benny, you going to fall ball, Dylan Vessel? Nah, I Ye figured I'd try her out. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there First we go. guest <laughs> on the show that's going to the dance. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How's the year? I do think in my 10th grade year, I tried it out. Yeah. You should have to one time. Yeah, that's, a, that's what I figured. You got to give her one shot, right? Yep. Yeah, take it when you're younger. I think you get that, <laughs> get that fall ball experience. <laughs> yep. When's that, Benny? Uh, Saturday, October 26th, 8 to 10.30. So I'm sure tickets might be still sold. Who Probably knows? not, but <laughs> maybe. That'll happen. I'm sure you could buy them at the door. Too. Yeah. yeah. Um, probably not. I don't think you can. No? I don't think they let you. you got to like make the list to make sure everyone's A-OK -okay to go. They're shutting it down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's interesting not being in the school this year. That like I miss out on some of that stuff. You like really don't hear about it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like they just have random things, you know, announcements, stuff like that. Where I have first hour, but band the room, you can't hear the announcements anyway. So who knows what what's, what's the chorus ever saying? Yeah. Um, other than that, we have the Lynx. We didn't talk about this. We haven't talked about this in a little bit. The Minnesota Lynx basketball WNBA. 
they're in the finals. Yeah, for I the, actually did the watch WNBA. game one. I did watch I, game really? one. I think I watched like the first quarter. That was the first time I ever watched. I was so bored. Ever. I saw them all. I was like, oh, I'll click in. And it was yeah. like the last two minutes of the game. It was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of like back and forth. But... Last two minutes, that's all you got to watch. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're they're one and one right now with the New York Liberty. They play tonight um, at home down in the cities here. But I had no idea. I was like on uh, I think Snapchat the other day, like on Sports Center, and it was yeah. all of a sudden like Minnesota Lynx and the New York Liberty. And I'm like, who would have guessed? I haven't heard anything yeah. about that. Um, I guess the Lynx are really good though. They're like just yeah. a really solid team. They've yeah. been to the finals like multiple times before. How yeah. about the Minnesota women's sports? You got the girls uh, hockey. Girls yeah. hockey. And yeah. The, the Lynx. They they got a championship if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Oh, so yeah. yeah, it's kind of impressive though. I mean, I guess Minnesota's the place to be for women's sports. Yeah. yeah. You know the name of the team? What's it called? The What's Frostbite the or frost. something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Frost. There you Talking go. about Minnesota sports, the Wild last night pulled off a big yeah, win. Really? A goalie goal goalie by their goal goalie. Goal. No way. Yeah. Yep. Philip yeah. Gustafson scored a goal. Really? Who are they like, playing? St. Louis Blues. So, Was Scotty Prunovich He was, there? but yeah. I don't think he got many chips. He got healthy, I think. Oh, he got scratched? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because I did see he was on the roster, but... Yeah, yeah. I, like I said, I didn't think I saw him out there, but that'll happen, I suppose. He's there. We're cheap. we're rooting for him. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's really good, though. Is Minnesota sports, I don't know, maybe are coming around. Who knows? You yeah. got the Vikings. The Vikings had a bye this week. Yeah, but they're still cooking at that five and zero. They just signed running back Cam Akers. So yeah, it'll be interesting. They play Detroit this weekend. Um, We'll see how that's going to be a big game. That'll decide yeah. a lot. Their yeah. the yeah. star defenseman's out too. So. Yeah, one of the, one um, of the decoys. Aiden Hutchinson. He yep. broke his leg this this past yeah, that's, week. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that good. was uh, ugly. That, that was not pretty. That's all. Yeah, that's a tough one. And that was against the the Cowboys, right? They yeah. embarrassed the Cowboys. That was a slaughter. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a. Like I lost in, fan- game I lost in <laughs> fantasy because of that. Detroit defense had 19 points. When do you ever put that <laughs> yeah, up? Never yeah. heard of that. Yeah, no, that was a that was a bloodbath. Yeah. Then you had the Jets. The Jets lost to the the Bills, and then like the next day, yesterday or two days ago, um, they signed Devonte. They're getting Devonte Adams traded. Okay. So yeah. it's like Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers was running that show. He's like, I'm on no all my kidding. former it's like, teammates. It's like backyard football <laughs> out there. Yeah. Your quarterback's calling all the plays. It's, mm-hmm. Well, if it works, it works. Yeah. But. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of jokes I saw when they fired that Robert Salah or whatever. Yeah. Of um of Aaron Rodgers just like running the team, you know, everyone just talking about yeah. he's like, Yeah, we're hiring a new coach, but it's actually just so we can be a Muppet for Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> yeah. So that he can just do whatever he wants, really. I'm like, fair mm-hmm. enough. When you're like that that's like Tom Brady though, when Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay. He, he just told him what he wanted. Yeah. Like, okay, here's you kinda, all the money in the world. You kind of have to. With a, with a guy that good or was that good that yeah, has that yeah. good of a career, I mean, you can't really, yeah. Yeah, when you hey, let's do this, it works. Well, no, I've won seven Super Bowls yeah, doing I'll this. I'll tell so. you what works. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, <laughs> we have um, just put it out there again. You know, it's been some kind of coming from a lot of the teachers and administrators this year. Um, and they definitely been trying to push it more and, you know, figure we'd rip it out on the podcast here about attendance, attendance in schools. Um, it's something that they're really trying to work on, um, getting more kids to be in school, in class and all of that and encouraging to make sure parents also help out with getting kids there. Um, so I just know that's something that they've been kind of, I don't know, for whatever reason, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's that big of a problem at our school compared to some schools. Yeah. But it's still just something that, you know, they want to push out that um, in t- attendance. It is important to be there. It's important to learn at school. And there's all sorts of options now. I mean, like, I got all this on- online classes. When you get to a junior or senior, you can go do PSEO. You right. can do SITS, whatever. It, um, it kind of opens up a little bit more. But, man, I get the, when you're in ninth, tenth grade, you feel a little, like, Gets gets a little, gets right. annoying. Yeah, it's tough. and honestly, even if you don't do PSEO or sits, there's options. You have that work based learning. Oh yeah, you can go. You know, if you want to work and make some money, you go after lunch and work for a couple hours and right. counts as credit. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Also if you're struggling to get in the classroom, talk to someone. They'll help you. They'll, there's options out there. So no kidding, there are just like a lot. Um, speaking of that, options here too. We got. I was just thinking, making me think about winter time when it comes to getting cold outside here 
It is freezing outside. Yeah, today. it's cold. It's wicked. Woke Fine. up this morning like 25 degrees. Frost outside. on the car. About freaking froze my head off. <laughs> It'll be nice and chilly up in Two Harbors. Today. Yeah, with that lake oh, effect. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. We we're going to be so frozen. I'm wearing a sweatshirt underneath my <laughs> Yeah, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. That'll be all right. No, it'll be a good time though here, hopefully. I mean, the snow is coming so soon though, 100%. Um, I think they have snow up in Two Harbors. I know they had snow <laughs> up in Ely already. Yeah, I heard uh-huh. Ely. I that heard song. that too, but yeah. I don't think I believe it. Let's... I don't know, it's pretty cold. It, I know night. there's snow it's up cold there. Out night. What about you? It's cool. Oh, that's something, there, I don't know. I think that's kind of a new weird policy. No, it's something that they've been talking about. I don't know. I have my opinions on it, but it's something that's been kind of being brought to attention about like school in school having your phone on oh, you. Yeah. Um, it was brought up at the school board meeting the other week, and I know there was a girl, I don't remember who it was. I don't remember who it was, but she went there and kind of like made a her side of it for why it's important to have phones in right. school. Um, I think it's kind of silly. Like, what is it that if you're an eighth grader you can't have it? Yeah. Well, like ninth through twelve, teachers just discretion. teachers discretion. Yeah. I think that's appropriate. Right. I mean, you should be able to have your phone in school because right. there's a lot of times in class where you get that little bit extra time, hop on a game, like whatever. Right. Like right. the teacher yeah. will give you some little bit of time, downtime. But I think there's a lot of people that abuse that rule too, because when you're in math class, your teacher's doing notes. You got kids playing games. It's like. But at the same time, enforce it better. Yeah. If you that don't want them doing it, enforce it better. You know, you have control. If you, if it's your classroom, you should have control over it, and that should be making sure kids follow your rules. Right. Well, I mean, um, the students have to have the discipline, too, because if you're on your phone and he's doing notes, you're not going to know what you're doing. Right. Well, and, you and know, then you yeah. go crying to her, oh, I failed this, can you do this? Tough. Well, no yeah, one. Tough one. Right. Yeah. I think that's like Mr. Christie. I always love that. Mr. Christie would tell us, he's like, you know, he's like, I'm going to go ahead, and I had like that SITS class last year with him. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like, I'm going to teach no matter what. And if you want to sit here and learn and like interact and all that, I'm so happy you want to sit here and just kind of you know sit there playing on your phone something that's your choice like right. you're getting to a point where like you're old enough to make that choice on your own i'm going to teach it i'm going to give you that information but it's going to be up to you whether you really absorb it and right. like, that's such a fair rule yeah that is like it's just at some point you know and you can't get your hand held the entire yeah, way yeah you don't school. have to hold up the whole class telling this one individual and i'll get yeah. off your phone right? right you want to be here you want to be here if you don't Fail the test. Yeah, because yeah. that's how it's gonna be when you get out of here. Cause no one's gonna be holding your hand the whole time. <laughs> right. It's so. it's kind of that tough. It's like you're gonna do that. You won't transition well. You'll learn because you'll either get a scolding from your parents. You won't be able to play sports. Something, right. whatever it might be, um, that you'll kind of figure that out. But yeah, that's been something. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. I don't really know that they're gonna do anything, but we will see. Um, lastly, we had that Bellamy Award rededication ceremony yesterday on Tuesday. Were you there for that, Dylan? You I was there. there, yeah. You were there? How was it? What, what was your perspective on it? I was, um, I thought it was good. I mean, kind of cool to rededicate that stuff. And they talked about the flag, how they flew it over uh, the Bellamy, his grave and stuff. And I, I thought it was a cool thing. Right. Right, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. We had um, Aaron Brown who's uh, the English professor at the college, one of them, and then um, Craig Haddam, who's a former social studies teacher here in Hibbing, they both spoke. Um, I kind of really enjoyed what they said. I think they had a good, they both had yeah. good messages. Aaron Brown's written a bunch about Hibbing, and like he's writing yeah. a book about Hibbing, like super knowledgeable guy. And then Craig Haddam's just a super nice guy. Like everybody loves him. He's just a really nice dude and loves Hibbing. Um, yeah, I think it was really good overall. It was cool to see that. To have all that kind of happening in the school, then there was some awards given out um, for academics for students that have had certain GPA requirements, and then like also the kids that had a 4.0 GPA their whole high school career. I think that's cool. I mean, just to give credit to the guys that put yeah, in the work. Yeah, right. Hundred percent. I think giving that, yeah, showing that appreciation for the academic side as well, because you always see sports. Sports are so right. common yeah. to see, but given the academic, I think it was a good time. Everyone yeah. kind of appreciated that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, that pretty much wraps it up here for today. We kind of got a little long, I think, but we'll be all right here. Um, you guys have anything else to add at all today? No, that's, that was a good show. Probably not. Yeah. Well, I don't know that we're going to be here next week or not. We'll see if there's it's a up, show it's next. Up it's up in the, up in the air. air still. There's going to be a show next week or not. But check in because there might be. For sure. so. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time on Anchored Down.
over 25 years, U.S. Bank, located at 211 East Howard Street in Hibbing, Minnesota, has provided office and studio space for Hibbing Public Access Television. We are thankful for their ongoing support. Hibbing Public Access TV may be viewed on these platforms. HPAT.org with Video On Demand, Mediacom Hibbing, 802, 805, and 807. On Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV. Download the Hibbing Public Access TV app for your iPhone and Android devices. Find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Vimeo. For more information, scan the QR code and go to hpat.org.